All right, what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. Get in here, get in here, everybody. Get in here. <clears throat> we got to get into some things, child. All right, so on today's docket, we got to get into Miss Jada Pinkett Smith. All right, now I really don't follow her like that. I really don't really get into Jada Pinkett. Um, however, I do love the antics and I do follow the the shenanigans of Jada Pinkett because anytime she's either promoting a show or promoting a um promoting a book or promoting anything she does these interviews or she speaks out and she's always revealing something you know what i mean it always takes the world into like this shock and to me i just i just feel like i'm not follow falling for it anymore like she does this all the time to me she's a weirdo at this point, I believe that Jada Pinkett Smith is a little bit of a weirdo and a little bit of a clout chaser, and something is not right in her mind. Like, cause, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what term we will use for it, but this lady is off. She's got to be off, and she keeps all these secrets and all these things and strategic re and strategically reveals them, depending on you know whatever season she's promoting what like remember during the red table talk she revealed that she had slept with a woman before or she revealed that she lets their daughter be gay or they they were le practicing lesbian nation you know it was just all kind of crazy stuff that you know she was just revealing remember she revealed that she had a relationship with or an entanglement with august alcina like she just spills her tea and it's just a, it's a, it's very interesting and now lately, she's been on this press run and she's been spilling tea about, you know, just various different things in her life. Now, her the latest thing has been like, you know, Tupac being her soulmate. However, Tupac is not her, uh, they would never, and he proposed to her, but they didn't get married because there was no chemistry, but she felt like he was her soulmate. And my thing is this. She does way too many interviews about Tupac. She brings Tupac up too much. Perhaps maybe that's why her and Will are not together, but I still feel feel like they're still, like, while they've been separated for seven years, I still feel like she's doing too much talking about another man. Perhaps that's the reason why it didn't work because she really didn't love Will or maybe she's into women and he's into men and they just, you know, they're staying together for the kids. I don't know because if I'm Will, I'm like, girl, stop talking about other men in your interviews and we're still married. It's really weird, right? Um, and if I'm the kids, I'm like, this is really an awkward situation, mom. You keep talking about this dead man. Like, you're so hung up on this man that no longer lives here anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's really weird. She was talking about how he has uh, alopecia and, 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 and how he wanted to be with her and this, that, and third. Really, really weird. So she has those type of headlines come out. Then she also has, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith says Chris Rock asked her on date admit Will Smith divorce report. So all of a sudden, you know, at one point, Chris Rock asked her on a date. Then this is the one that got me. Jada Pinkett Smith didn't realize Will Smith hit Chris Rock until she was told he's not going to press charges. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did y'all see the same video that I saw? So now this woman is acting like she didn't even know. That, that Will got up there and slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. Why do y'all keep falling into this lady's BS? She So she didn't know that. They never had a conversation about this before. You didn't see her have an attitude. You She didn't know that Will Smith got up there and slapped Chris Rock. That's crazy. Like, she's a joke. I don't know why you guys keep believing. I'm not falling for Jada's BS and the lies and the, and, and, and the delusions just to promote this book because this is all PR. This is all craziness. And every few years, she does this. She comes out, whether it's promoting a red table talk or promoting a memoir, whatever it is, then she comes out revealing all this stuff and we all eat it up like, oh my God, this is crazy. How the hell did you not know that Chris, uh, Will Smith walked up there and slapped the shit out of Chris Brown? Stop playing with me. Like, girl, are you serious? Like, y'all really have to stop that. Then what was another one? Oh, Jada Pinkett Smith didn't realize that she was Will Smith's wife because 
he hadn't called her wife in over seven years or however many years so that he had never used that term before when she called him, when he called her his wife at the Grammys. I mean, at the Oscars, <laughs> it's like, girl, are you serious? She's a joke. She's really a joke. But the thing is, and they all go with it. I don't know. I believe she's the problem. She's weird. That's so weird. How do you live a life and you don't, re you don't realize all of these things? I promise you, I guarantee you within the next three to five years, she's going to have to, re she's going to release something else. And the headline is going to be Jada Pinkett Smith reveals that she did not realize that the children weren't Will Smith's. Jada Pinkett Smith comes clean. Jada Smith is not Will's. Willow Smith is not Will's. They're Tupac's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jada Pinkett Smith reveals she got a dick. <laughs> you know, like, girl, like, it'll just start just, she'll just have to keep going with it and keep going with it. I don't know. Let me see if I can click through some more. I mean, I'm just like gagging. Oh, here's another one. Jada Pinkett Smith reveals she and Will Smith are separated. Reflects on Oscar slap. Okay, that's just, these are random ones. Um, Jada Pinkett Smith says Tupac had alopecia. He just wouldn't talk about it. She just goes there and just says stuff. You can just type in Jada Pinkett Smith. She's a joke. Let me see. Let me see what other news just pops up. Jada Pinkett Smith slams rumors that Will Smith is gay and confesses that she struggled with suicidal thoughts. Jada Pinkett Smith explains reason for no prenup. Oh, God, this is just so much. Jada Pinkett Smith reveals she moved out of home she shared with Will Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith shades Will Smith by adding Tupac was her true soulmate. <laughs> like, it's like, this is just a mess. But I believe she does this stuff. Let me get into the rumors of um, Will Smith being gay. She said, uh, clarify whether the couple were ever swingers or had an open marriage or whether her husband was secretly gay. I mean, a million things were out there, Pinkett told um, the host on today. No, you know that part of it, I would say that none of that's true. I definitely can understand why there'd be misunderstandings, she added, but none of it's true. She's also a liar, just like they were never, and they were never divorced, and this and the third. How do you believe what she says? She's not going to tell you now. She's going to wait to her next rollout. Then it'll be Jada Pinkett Smith reveals that Will Smith is gay, but was quietly struggling and battling back in 2023, whether she should tell it or not. And then something happened when she left that interview and she felt like today in 2027, that it was time to reveal that Will Smith had secretly been gay and him and August Alcina were in a secret relationship. And that is what caused the divorce or the separation. It's like, when you're watching, <clears throat> when you're listening to Jada Pinkett Smith speak, nothing she's telling you at the time is really the truth. And then she adds to the truth three years ago, but she adds to the story. You got to just timestamp everything because she'll, you got to remember this moment. Then in, because in this moment while she's telling her truth, she's adding to the story for the next moment. So everything she's doing now is going to be some additive for the future story. It's really bizarre. It's really interesting. And like more than actually the stories themselves, I'm just gagging at how this woman is like doing this. Like 
at first it was more like, okay, she's just being out of touch. I'm like, no, this is more like of a PR thing. And why are you embarrassing Will like this? Like, why are you continuously embarrassing Will and embarrassing your family? Like, what is this? What is the reason? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Jada Pinkett Smith situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and until next time, keep that same energy, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.